Hey folks, and welcome back to another episode of I Am Northwest Arkansas. We've got a special for you. You know, we've been doing these videos from time to time where we bring on individuals uh, in our community that are doing interesting things. And notice I've, I'm sporting my I Am Northwest Arkansas hat this Friday morning. Uh, got a lot of things going on around the house and um, no AC in our building. So I had to um, make other arrangements to, for this particular interview. But because of the time issue with this this event that's about to happen next week that you're going to hear me talk about, uh, we wanted to go ahead and get this video recorded as quickly as we could. So I'm excited uh, today to um, to just bring on uh, an amazing individual, Dana Dowdy. And uh, Dana is with the um, Weave organization. And Weave is, was, is an organization that was birthed out. Uh, it was an idea that David Brooks the, uh, the the New York Times writer. Um, I, I love watching David on uh, PBS NewsHour, um, and he has a thing called Brooks and Capehart, and uh, as well as with the Aspen Institute, they created Weave, and it is going, I, I think, throughout the country, and Northwest Arkansas was one of those areas chosen. And so today we're going to learn a little bit more from Dana uh, about, uh, A, why Northwest Arkansas was chosen as, as a site for Weave, and we're going to learn a little bit more about Weave and why you should participate. So I really want to encourage you uh, to, to consider participating in this event uh, as it comes up next week. So without further ado, I want to welcome uh, Dana to the, um, the podcast. How are you, Dana? Hi, thank you. I am doing great, Randy. And yes, also have lots of hustle and bustle going on. And so <laughs> glad to come on and connect with you today. Absolutely. Absolutely. So listen, I, I would love for you to um, maybe tell us a little bit about Weave and, and give mm -hmm. us a little background on Weave. Absolutely. Well, like you mentioned, so Weave, the Social Fabric Project is the whole name of the initiative. And it was started in 2018 by the Aspen Institute and David Brooks and focuses on building stronger communities by fostering meaningful connections, relationship and empathy on a neighborhood and community level. So David Brooks, you know, who wrote How to Know a Person, The Social Animal, he really looked around our nation and noticed the increasing isolation, the social disconnection, the polarization. We all notice it, right? And yeah. so Weave aims to counteract these, these forces that are working to separate the social fabric and rather really focus on the power of community with a, an approach that comes into local communities and helps to connect, support, uplift, invest in local leaders who are doing that weaving work where they live. Wow, that's awesome. And so uh, how big is the program that's going to take place next week? Can you give us kind of an idea of the focus of the events that will take place and how people can get involved? Absolutely. So we have a series of events that are going to be happening from Monday the 19th until Thursday the 22nd. So we have a couple gatherings we're calling Coffee and Conversation. These are just relaxed gatherings. People can drop in. You get a complimentary cup of coffee or tea on us and just a chance to connect with others, learn about the program, share stories, share experiences. So we will be at Hail Fellow Well Met in Springdale from 2 to 4 on Monday and at the Onyx Coffee Lab in the momentary Thursday, 10 to 12. And then we have a couple community dinner gatherings. So we will be at the Fayetteville Public Library on Tuesday, the 20th, 530 to 730. And that is a community dinner gathering. We're going to have a meal catered by Secondhand Smoke. We're going to hear from Nate about his amazing work with Secondhand Helping, um, a chance to highlight some other local weavers share a meal, do some creative community building activities, a circle, one-on-one -on -one conversations, a chance to connect and share about our experiences living in community in Northwest Arkansas. Yeah, I love that. And and so, and you're involving now, are you doing something with For the Love Food Truck? Yes. On yes. Thursday, okay. we will be partnering <laughs> with them. Yes. Thank you. Thursday, yeah. we'll be partnering with their Bentonville Neighbor Night. So okay. for the Love NWA, incredible local group, just doing amazing work. So we will be there with them in downtown Bentonville, just engaging the community, supporting, just bringing a lively presence. We'll have a booth. We've got all kinds of fun weave swag to give away this week. 
So we will be there. People can come learn more about what it means to weave and also see how amazing for the love NWA is. Yeah, no, I love that. And yeah, I mean, you've, you've mentioned some, fa- some of my favorite people, Nate Walls. Uh, I've had him on the podcast for the love NWA. Uh, I've had those guys on the podcast. They are doing amazing work. And honestly, they are the, they, are, they and Nate are the epitome of what it means to weave uh, uh, the social fabric of this area together as you would yes. in any community. Right. And I, I can rem- remember going out with Nate and handing out food during the pandemic to people that were dealing with food insecurity issues and the like. And, and, you know, honestly, Nobody was sitting around checking IDs and and doing anything like that. We were all just human beings trying to help each other out in a time of need. And I, you know, honestly, I mean, I don't want to get on a soapbox here, but we need more of that. And it sounds, it sounds like that's what weave is, is all about. Um, So how did, how did we, how did, you know, I didn't even know that, that David had birthed this idea, but, but what did it, what was the stimulus behind it in the first place? Do you know? Um, well, like I said, he was really, as he's written all these amazing books about getting to know one another, connecting, um, being social creatures as we are, um, he really wanted to find a way to invest on a community level and to really build up um, local grassroots community builders and leaders. And so he and the Aspen Institute got together and came up with this amazing project, which now has, um, there are projects going in Baltimore, in Wilkes County, North Carolina. We've got folks in Chicago. There are weavers out in Berkeley, California. So it's popping up all over the place. And we started putting together an amazing social trust map that people can use to look at different facets of their community. Um, We also have an online education center. We have both local and an online community. We have networks of volunteer opportunities that organizations can join to communicate about their different volunteer opportunities. Um, And so, yeah, all of this has really worked to uh, partner with community-driven efforts to really create sustainable connections and just the, the foundations of healthy, thriving communities. And let me not forget to mention, we also have a community dinner next Wednesday in downtown Rogers. We will be at brick and mortar from 5.30 to 7.30. And that gathering, I feel really personally um, kind of heartfelt about because downtown Rogers got hit hard by our recent tornadoes. So this particular area really has gone through a lot. And this is a great opportunity for residents of Benton County, folks in Rogers, Bentonville to come together and connect and also, uh, you know, create and find new ways that we can support each other and continue to build up our, our sense of community here. Yeah, no, I I love that. And so, and you you are in Benton County. You represent mm-hmm. Benton County, and I understand that Washington County will ultimately have a representative as well. And I guess you guys are working on that right now. Um, so this is this is really just the start of introducing Weave to the mm-hmm. area, right? So this is yes. there will there will be more events down the road, and there'll be more uh, programs to help. Uh, local community leaders to really get involved in, in the weave way when it comes to building these this social infrastructure that we so desperately want to see in our community. Yep, absolutely. I've got two members of our Washington, D.C. team coming out to help with these launch events next week. And then really, we hope to build up a local community, as you mentioned, with the Washington County liaison, and then other weavers locally who are interested. And then We could start having an every other week coffee and conversation together, monthly partnership activities and events. You know, I've got many people on my list that I would love to host some incredible collaborative events and gatherings with. So, yes, this is only the beginning. Much more to come. And people can join our online community, sign up for our newsletter or come out for one of these events next week to learn more. Yeah, I would highly encourage everyone to get involved. What what's the is there a local website or is the main weave website where people would go? What would if you, you go to there? weavers.org is our main okay. weave the social fabric page. Um, and if you go to community.weavers.org, and this is also accessible from their main page, you can get to the Weave Northwest Arkansas. 
And that is where you can join the local community. We've got a calendar that people can start adding their events to, resource sharing if people need volunteers for an event or they're going to host a community picnic or, you know, that kind of stuff can start to get posted and we can start to build up a local community of weavers who are really supporting each other in, in these active ways. Yeah. I love that. And, and, you know, it's, it's interesting that you say what you said earlier and I love the, this, the, the different organizations that have come together to support this uh, introduction of weave uh, to Northwest Arkansas and I, I have to mention a, a quick story. A good friend of mine, uh, who is now a good friend of mine, we met because of coffee. He had this mission. His name is Joe Daniels. He had a mission to meet with 100 people uh, of all walks of life just to have coffee. No, There wasn't an mm-hmm. ask. There wasn't a why beyond just having coffee. And he and I met that way because he had met with another one of my friends. And my friend suggested that he meet with me. And we've become, we became fast friends. And I got to say, sometimes a simple cup of coffee is really what um, is really the, um, the, the solution that we need in this country and in, in, in particular. But sometimes we just need to sit kneecap to kneecap with people and just have a conversation and not, you know, put aside all the other stuff and just be two human beings in a room enjoying some really good coffee, talking about life. Uh, their family and their interactions and just the things that they struggle with on a daily basis. Cause we all have our own struggles, right? I mean, it's oh, not do. like, we, it's not like you, you've got your issues. I've got my <laughs> issues. So yeah. that's the beauty of it, right? Sometimes people think that, Oh, everybody's a finished product and everybody's perfect. That's that couldn't be further from the truth. And that's why an organization like we is so important uh, in a community because it allows us, it uh, helps to bridge the gap of, of understanding. And to bring people closer together. So I, I am here for this 100%. That's another reason why I told Andrea Ritchie, uh, shout out to Andrea, and, and she's the most amazing PR person in the world. But that's one of the reasons why I told her, hey, I will definitely have this conversation because I really believe that this is what it's all about. And, you know, I always tell people when, you know, when you put, when you uh, plant yourself in a city and give to that city, it will ultimately return the favor. And I think everybody that's here in our communities in Northwest Arkansas need to really find themselves firmly planted in those communities because ultimately those communities will ultimately give back to them. Right. And I think that's just important that, that people need to be thinking about that. And, you know, it's, it's no, it's not about the me generation. It's not about, you know, what have you done for me lately? It's, it's really about others. Right. Yes. And how do we how do we reach and impact the widest audience possible? So I, I applaud what you're doing. I only wish I was going to be here for most of the events next week, but I will figure out a way to participate. This is my participation right here. I'm doing yes, this video. Thank you. But 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 yeah, but but we will figure something else out. But I just wanted to get this out there for people that have heard about it and aren't quite sure and really just wanted to learn a little bit more about the program. And so I really want to invert and and uh, encourage folks to go to Weavers dot org that's w e a v e r s dot org and then also to community dot weavers dot org to choose the northwest arkansas community uh, and we'll put a, a little bit of information out below this video here on youtube and wherever else you find this video so that you can get more information and hopefully you can see dana and the rest of her team and all of the great weavers that are going to come together and especially shout out to my main nat- nate walls uh melinda williams from um uh, for the love food truck, uh, the folks at bricks, at bricks and brick and mortar and, and Rogers and everybody else. And, and, and certainly John and Andrea Allen from Onyx. And I, I'm not surprised that they're participating. A, their coffee is amazing, but they are really good stewards in our community. So shout out to all those organizations. And I would certainly continue to support those organizations because they're always doing good work in, in our local community. So, so um, Dana, thank you so much for, for coming on. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. It's been lovely to talk with you. And also so that people know this will also be the beginning of our Weavers Awards season. The next okay. two years, we'll be giving out 20 $5,000 grants to local weavers who are doing the kind of work you're talking about. 
Wow. Having community building, working with their neighbors, bringing folks together on a grassroots level. So yes, everybody should do, also wait, know. Do, do podcasters count? Part. I mean, absolutely, do, <laughs> absolutely. So, yeah, I'm I'm here for that. One one yes. or two percent. So I love it. I love it. So yeah. So well, come no, out, learn more, and so nice I, to talk with you, Angie. Absolutely. Thank you so much, Dana. I really appreciate it, and uh, this has been a great conversation. And I really want to encourage everybody to come out and participate. Again, it's Weavers, W-E-A-V-E-R-S dot org is the website. You can go to community.weavers.org um, to check out the Northwest Arkansas community and find out about all the events that are happening next week. And I'll try to uh, to take paste all the information from the press release in the notes down below uh, on the description. So that's all I have for you today. I really appreciate it. I hope you guys have an amazing weekend and we'll catch up with you soon. Thank you, Dana. Bye. Thank you. My pleasure. All right. Bye-bye.